Good morning! Today we're going to discuss projectile motion. Now a few moments ago we saw a baseball player hitting a ball. And the motion of that baseball will not be exactly like the motion you see here traced by this character flying across the screen. There are some differences between the motion of a baseball in real life and the motion we see here. The major difference is this. Normally, when we work on problems with projectile motion, we assume there is no drag. In addition, we assume the only force acting is gravity. And so, looking at the x-direction, because we assume there's no drag, we assume there's no forces in the x-direction. And this results in the velocity in the x-direction being constant throughout the entire journey throughout the time of flight. In the y direction, we assume there's only one force acting. And as a result, the acceleration in the y direction is 9.8 meters per second per second. So when we assume there's no drag, we get a shape that's parabolic. Now from the video we saw a few moments ago, it's hard to see the shape that the baseball traces out. Because remember, a baseball does experience drag because a baseball is traveling at very high speed. And so the question is, what if we add drag? How does this path change when we consider drag? Well, in the simulation, we can do this by changing what I've circled there, the coefficient of drag. So let's see. So here's our simulation. And at first, I'm just going to leave the coefficient of drag equal to zero. Let's watch the flight of the ball. Notice there is only one vector attached to the ball. That's gravity. It's pointing straight down. And notice the current velocity in the x direction. Throughout the journey, it was 26.4 meters per second. Now let's add some drag and see what happens. So we're going to change the coefficient of drag from 0 to 0 decimal 0, 0, 007. And notice immediately now, there are two vectors attached to the ball, gravity and drag. Notice what direction drag always faced in. The drag vector always opposed the direction of movement. The other thing I want you to notice is that we no longer have a true parabolic shape. The shape still looks like a parabola, but as you can see, it's not symmetrical. In addition, I want you to pay very careful attention to this number here, the current velocity in the x direction. Notice it decreases. Now, as a result of drag, we no longer have constant velocity in the x direction. Notice as a result of drag, the object, even though it was hit at the exact same speed, no longer achieves the same height, nor does it achieve the same range. With drag, the range significantly decreases, as does the height. So I hope you see how drag affects projectiles in real life. This second arc that you see is the path of baseball and even a golf ball. Any object that's traveling at a high velocity, this is the path that the object would take. Somewhat parabolic, but no longer symmetrical about a vertex. I hope you've enjoyed today's review of projectile motion. Have a great day. Bye-bye.